What is up fam? It's your big bro Joey and hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day today. Much love and light to everybody out there. Okay, today I got a little something special for you guys. I have a collaboration with Debbie from Star of the Universe Tarot. Thank you Debbie so much for coming over here and collabing with us. We very, very much appreciate it. Y'all give her a round of applause in this piece for me. So yeah, today we're going to be doing a um, closure video, a karmic closure video. So this is going to be uh, the closure that you need to get to move on. Like whatever you need to hear right now to move on from a situation, a connection, a relationship that's ended. Uh, it could be with the karmic person. You know what I'm saying? It could be with the ex, whatever it is. Whatever you need to hear right now, whatever spirit feels that you need to hear right now so that you can move on because we are about four movements only. You know what I'm saying? We're not about stagnating and staying back in the past, you know, um, festering uh, with wounds and shit like that. We're about moving forward and that's what we're going to focus on today, you know, because sometimes we're not able to get the closure that we need from the specific person or whatever it was you know what i'm saying sometimes they don't give they don't give you that opportunity because no one owes you that you feel me so it's like sometimes you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting forever and that person doesn't will never give it to you i mean you you have to find some way for you to move on because guess what these people out here they've already moved on they out here living their best life while some of us are still stuck in hurt and regret and shoulda woulda couldas and why did you hurt me why did you betray me why did you do this to me you know stuck in those phases why these other people are living a best life so we're going to try to give you some quick information that you could use to start you on your journey to healing and moving forward from this connection okay so today we're going to be having uh six different groups i didn't bring my power cards downstairs they upstairs and i'm not running back up there to get them you guys so i'm gonna put on the screen six different options okay you pick which option you resonate with. Hell, if you want to, y'all know how we do over here. If you want to, you can watch them all and see which one resonates with you the most because they are general readings and they may not apply or resonate to everyone who watches the readings, okay? So just pause the video, see which one of the images you resonate with the most and just go from there and kick it off, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Peace. Hello everyone, it's Debbie from Star of the Universe Tarot. I just wanted uh, to take a um, quick two seconds to thank Joey from King Aloha Tarot for um, taking the opportunity and collabing with me. We are doing the um, karmic, <laughs> karmic closures, uh, karmic relationship closures, okay? So it doesn't matter what kind of relationship that... Um, you're closing out here it's just to basically world card energy right to col uh, close out excuse me this mercury retrograde is really whooping my ass <laughs> so um we're and i'm a little dyslexic so don't mind me i'm going to be changing the words around for the karmic closure collective whatever <laughs> like just work with me um we are doing group one and i am going to start off with the alice the wonderland oracle and i'm going to finish off with the crystal oracle deck okay um once again thank you joey i really appreciate it and he's going to go ahead and do his group one his group two and his group three as well okay so please look forward for that let me start off angel spirits and dice what messages do we have for group one okay so we have, you can't go back to yesterday. This is like my six of cups energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. And you have time and pressure and in a rush. So there's somebody in the past that's definitely trying to um, make some kind of advancement or movement forward with you. With the number 44 here and then the eagle here, I feel like you're very, your ancestors are here to protect you. I feel like this is kind of a bit of a warning. Um mercury retrograde it does that though it does bring people back from the past but what's going on here especially with the eagle that i feel here like totem animal energy it might come to you in a dream before this person actually contacts you um but like i said i'm feeling warning energy like i don't feel like your ancestors are supporting this coming back together 
Yeah, with all in the golden afternoon and follow the white rabbit and wake up, you're gonna, he, this person might call you in the middle of the night. I'm hearing trips to your crib in the middle of the night. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Taurus, but that's, okay, so you know what this person's intentions are. Like, this person is coming in the middle of the night for that. So don't be surprised if they're coming for that and they expect you to just uh, give into it and then they ghost your ass again. Like, this is why... You're being told not to not to play with this. You have sunshine, yellow dragon help helps you help animals, serve animals, heal, heal, respect, and understand them. I feel like if you have animals like pets, a small dog a, or cats, um, and this animal does not like this person that comes around, I feel like you should really heed and take notice to that because I feel like your animal is really trying to tell you something. Um, the way that the animals act, act up or act out before they feel an earthquake, like I'm from California, so earthquakes, they're like, they're like second nature over here. Um, but these animals feel it. So, or, ju or just like, um, the animals feel before a forest fire as well. Like this animal is trying to tell you not to bring this person around you. I'm hearing around your kids. This person is bad news all the way around. You have Magenta Dragon, enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom, awaken your soul memories, and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. Yeah, this person may be a big blockage to you as well. It could be um, it could be a karmic family member here, like the way that they're looking, ba um, looking back at the misfortune, I feel. All this fire is in the back. Like, this person knows that they cause havoc and chaos wherever it is that they go. And it's not this like this person may feel regret, but they only feel regret for getting caught. They don't feel regret for actually causing the, the chaos that comes behind them. Yeah. And the moment that you release this person, you're going to come right into your abundance here with the rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors, have trust, rediscover wisdom, and expect miracles and accept opportunities. If you have the opportunity to reject this person, please do so. Because this person, like I said, they're coming in and they're coming in with intentions to use and abuse you, really. Oh, what fell out here? Yeah, because all like, yeah, so, and you investing in them is just, is is going to cause judgment onto you you're going to get karma for playing with this person so some of you guys with the seven of pentacles could be dealing with um with a baby daddy or a baby mama like um because the seven of pentacles is also a pregnancy but if you can see towards the back of this seven of pentacles the tower is in the back you've already had that tower and that final judgment moment with this person you could be dealing with a scorpio or a sagittarius but you're holding yourself back and clinging your by clinging yourself to this to this person this six of cups energy this person from the past and it's time for you like i'm hearing sound the alarm sound the alarm it's time to blow the whistle on this person they need to they need to i'm hearing stranger danger like you don't know this person anymore and the, and the faster that you can make this final judgment, let them move forward from your life, then you're definitely going to reap the benefits and the rewards that, that you surely deserve. All right. Let's see. Let's get a crystal message here. Oh, it fell down. Hold on. Help. Okay, <laughs> I'm here, I'm back. Okay, um, we have Pyrite and then we have Stitcher Serpent. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll read them both, I guess. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing good on time. I'll read them both. I'm gonna start off with Pyrite. Okay, you have Emotional Balance psychological strength relationships and protection okay <laughs> you may be feeling emotionally unbalanced at present because you have allowed yourself to at least partially believe in another's critical judgments of you i'm telling you this person's really going to try to work at your at your emotions and really try to make you feel bad like i feel like this person may cry on command so be very careful about crocodile tears okay 
This malicious criticism was directed at you by someone who falsely believes that you will gain some, they will gain something by belittling you. To regain your mental strength and emotional balance, you must realize that this whole episode is simply emotional blackmail. You are dearly loved and held in high esteem by many. So see this episode for what it really is and do not allow yourself to be so affected by what one person says. Others know the truth. Pirate can help strengthen you both psychologically and emotionally. Okay, so this basically what I'm hearing is that your ancestors and your spirit guides, your whole spirit team, is making sure that they're preparing you for this grand rejection. I'm going to repeat that again for this grand rejection because I feel like that's what's going on here. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys have been waiting for this moment. So I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Hold on. Yeah, like I feel like somebody's been wanting to tell this person to stick it where the sun don't shine for a very long time. Very long time. For a very, very, very long time. Okay. So, we have meditation, clearing your energy centers, and detoxifying your thoughts. Fear and negative thoughts are preventing you from experiencing peace and joy in your life. They are blocking your creativity, and as a con consequence, your life seems dull and dreary. You can change your life. Ah, you can change your situation. <laughs> By continuously choosing to love and trust the universe instead of fearing it. Sit quietly in meditation and invoke the healing power of love. Imagining yourself bathed in beautiful healing energies. Visualize all the colors of the rainbow swirling within and around you. You got two rainbow cards here. I feel like rainbows could be a, um, a very big indicator for someone as well. Like, I feel like you could be walking down the street and you... I know, especially for those of you guys in the island, you know, you're going to see those beautiful clear waters and see, like, flashing lights on the top of that, you know. Just know that that's your spirit guides and know that that's your, your ancestors and that's everybody on the other side letting you know that they're there with you. Where am I? Visualize all the colors of the rainbow swirling within and around you. Feel these beautiful healing colors flowing through your mind and heart and imagine your thoughts being infused with eternal light. Practice this each day as it will help transform your negative and fearful thoughts into positive inspirations. There is nothing to fear. You are eternally surrounded by love. All right, group one. That's what I got for you. I hope it resonated. All right, guys. Bye. All right, you guys. We're going to be seeing today what you need to hear to get closure from this connection this relationship whatever to break the chains or to you know what i'm saying to come up out of this connection or relationship so that you can move on and, and you can experience life you know other lessons and experiences for yourself you know so uh like i said before you guys this is a general reading and it going to uh, apply to every single person i was looking for my damn singing bowl where is it it's underneath the table i'm gonna leave it there whatever Ding! Yeah, just pretend that I rang it, okay? So, first and foremost, I want to see... Let me move this shit out of the way. I want to see what energies... Um, what energies you're moving away from within this connection. Like, like what may have taken place. What you're moving away from, you know, from this, uh, this connection, okay? I'm going to get a couple cards and... Ooh, that ain't the one. That's an instruction card. I need to throw that away. Cause I don't need it. Let's see what else we got here for you guys. We got this one. Let's get us one more and we'll check the energy here. Okay, so you guys in this group, okay, you may have been dealing with somebody who was a twin flame for you guys, okay? Someone who you had a high level soul connection with, you know? They're labels, I know how I feel about labels, but this is for the ones who like labels. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that either. You do what makes you happy. But this is a high level soulmate, uh, soul connection that you have with another person. Also with this one, what's coming out here is that you may have also had a past life with this person as well. So the connection was very, very strong with you guys. When you first met this person, this might've been somebody who you felt like you've known already. You know, it's like, oh, I know you from somewhere. Don't I know you from somewhere? One of those kind of things to where 
the connection might have even started off hot and heavy. You know what I'm saying? You may have committed to each other really, really fast. You may have slept with each other really, really fast. Or if you have not slept with this person, you just became emotionally attached to this person really, really fast. Or maybe a combination of all of them. You know, if y'all, you, y'all take what applies, let the rest fly. But either way, this is somebody who I'm hearing that like this bond was so, so strong that, you know, uh, when you guys broke up or you ended something, it, it really, 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 really hurt you guys deeply. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it made it may have even took you guys into a, a dark night of the soul. Like this shit was like, I'm hearing like, it was like so, so like, it was a deep hurt. Like you felt like your life was over for some of you guys. Okay. I feel like it was very, 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 I can't even describe this shit that I'm feeling right now. It was very, a tough breakup that you might have. Because you guys were attached to this person, okay? There's a lot of vibes and there's a, a strong connection and bond between you guys um, in this connection, okay? While you were in this connection, you might have just been miserable, you know? It, it, the connection may not may, might not have been comfortable either because I feel that, you know, your person may have had their walls up, you know? This was guarded interaction. The person did not let you in. They shut you off. They may have breadcrumbed you, you know what I'm saying? They may have love bombed you. The list could go on and on and on, but either way, this person kind of like held you at a distance, you know? Um, what's the other thing? Um, dealt with you with like with a long handle spoon, whatever, how to ever the hell you, it's in my head, but I don't know how to, how you, how you say it. I can't think of it right now, but let's see what else we got. Either way, this person, this person didn't open up to you. This person shut you out. Didn't let you get to know them, um, that much. They were guarded towards you and you, you still felt these strong connections. Okay. And some of you guys may have even questioned, like, why are you treating me this way? Like why I know how you feel, you know, you feel the same way as I feel and blase blase. Why are you treating me like this or whatever? But yeah, your person could have been dealing with a lot of different stuff, but let's check some of the other energies that you might've been dealing with within this connection. We got secrets. There were secrets going on in the mix. Some shit was going on within this connection that you knew nothing about, you know? Looks like somebody in this connection was setting boundaries or started setting boundaries to protect themselves. They felt like they needed to protect themselves from this connection or they were, you know, um, they didn't want to allow themselves to feel vulnerable within this connection, okay? You guys were, but you guys were also madly in love with each other, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of... 444 was on the time, time on the clock. Um, you guys were, you know, you were in love with each other at one point. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like one person within this dynamic may have to, in order to avoid feeling those deep emotions, may have decided to pull back and pull away from this thing. Okay. Uh, some sort of breakthrough may have taken place to where things just went to the left. Okay. Let's see what else happened for some of you guys also. The breakthrough that took place was that you saw the truth within this connection. You you saw that it wasn't going anywhere, and you had to remove you had to remove yourself from this connection because this, this person did not value you. This is someone who did not value you uh, at all. Okay, and you guys ended up like you had to like rebuild your confidence because this person did like may have um, ate at your confidence, you know, and your self esteem as well. Let's see what else we got here for you guys. Yep, you might have been dealing with a runner, okay? The run whole runner chaser dynamic, you know? You went after this person, this person put a, this person showed some interest in you, told you to come on, gave you the green light. You went towards the person, they immediately put a wall up and ran the other direction. It's kind of like when you have a wild horse. I'm getting a whole kind of wild horse kind of vibes with this person. Like this person cannot be tamed. You cannot, this person does not want to be captured. They don't want to be in an exclusive relationship for long term. They just want to do their own thing, you know? That's what I'm, I'm hearing that was going on within this dynamic. Okay, but think about it is with this one, you guys, I see that this person is gonna wanna get back with you again, okay? This person might have been in and out your life, especially with the twin flame vibes. So I honestly don't think that if if you guys are on a separation right now, I don't think it's over or the end for you guys. This person is gonna show back up, okay? Let's see what they're showing up with. Okay. This person felt like the grass was greener, okay? They may have felt like they, they could do better than you. 
um, you know, they wanted to experience something else. They were guarding themselves and not, not wanting to invest in you and wanted to invest somewhere else where they think they could do better, okay? This person is coming with the Don Dada energy. They, they conceded, you know what I'm saying? This person is still coming back, being conceded. So that's why I feel like you guys need to, you know, get closure from this situation because this person is not changing, okay? This person is still arrogant as fuck. They still doing what they want to do. And they're going to keep you in this endless karmic loop with this person. Runner, chaser kind of thing, you know? But this person calls you in, gives you the green light, and then blocks your ass and stops you. You know what I'm saying? It's like playing a whole game, you know? This person's giving me confused vibes. This person definitely has some secrets that they're not sharing with you, okay? And Spirit is telling you guys also that you need to, you guys are like the phoenix rising from the ashes. You're being advised to just give yourself, allow yourself to have a new beginning, okay? Allow it. Don't block it off. Don't. Don't, I'm hearing like, don't keep waiting for this person to keep coming back around and doing the same thing because they're obviously, they're not evolving. They're not moving forward, forward. You know, they're not trying to move this connection forward either because they're still going to come back and have their walls up and they still want you to chase after them. You know, you're still going to end up chasing after them because they're, they're the runner. Okay. Spirit is saying, allow yourself to have a new beginning. You know, you're the Phoenix rising from the ashes. You could get something that uh, is in alignment with you and that works with you, you know? Let's see what other advice we got going on here. We have fall in love. It says regardless of what you have experienced in the past, you deserve love. Let yourself fall in love. So basically, Spirit is telling you, you need to allow yourself to fall in love with somebody else, okay? You... There needs to be time limits of what you're wasting on a specific person, okay? If a person is keeping their walls up, no matter how long you try with this person, you got to tell you, you got to come to yourself and say, how long are you going to sit and go through this shit with this person over and over and over again, you know? Just like this hourglass right here. It's like, how long are you going to wait, you know? Put a time limit on that bitch, you know? One thing about me is, right, if I'm trying to work on something with somebody, if a certain period of time passes, it depends on my uh, my intuition as well. If a certain amount of time pass, I'm going to just cut your ass off and keep it moving. I'm not going to play with you, period. The affirmation on this one says, I am open to falling in love again. Yeah, I deserve to be loved. You guys deserve the best. You deserve to be loved. So Spirit is telling you to let, let yourself be loved. You know what I'm saying? If this person can't do it, it's a thousand, a million other people that will do it. And they will serve it up on a platter for you. You feel me? Don't stay hung up on somebody because of a label too. Maybe this person is not ready to dedicate themselves to you or, or be in a healthy connection with you at this time. You know, we got impo impossibilities. It's saying for you to take the first steps. This is something that you feel that you won't be able to do yet, yet, that you can't do. Okay. You may feel like you can't break the chains between you guys or break the bonds or whatever the connection, but you can do it. You know, you can have a love, a healthy love with somebody, but you just have to take the first steps. And spirit is like, once you take the first steps and, and, and know that you deserve the best, once you hold yourself in high regard and stop letting people play with you and you take the first steps, they will help you. They will help guide you forward to that love that they know that you deserve. Okay. Visualizations. It says, see the life you want. You guys are being advised to see. You have to see it and believe it too, okay? Some of y'all don't believe that you can get anything better than somebody running away from you and playing games with you and holding and blocking you off and being guarded with their interactions towards you. Some of y'all might not feel that you, you're able to experience anything more than misery within a connection or dysfunctional uh, connections with other people. I'm here. You need to see the life that you want. You need to visualize it. You need to feel it. See yourself in a healthy love uh, connection with another person. You got to see it. If you don't see it, how the fuck is the universe and spirit going to bring it to you or, help, or, or give you the guidance that you need that's going to lead you to that so that you can take action to bring it into your life, okay, to bring it into existence? If you don't believe it, it's just like saying, like, you only believe that you're worth a fucking um, a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? While the next chick, the next dude is over here saying, oh, no, 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 not no, not no combo number one or whatever it is. Not not no McDonald's. I'm worth hell a filet mignon. I'm worth 
whatever hell else is expensive. Escar escargot. I had escargot before. I don't know, but whatever else hell is expensive. You know, you're worth that top top of the line. I can't even think right now about no food like that. I got my food on the way. I'm kind of hungry, but y'all let me get, keep on. Stay focused. Stay focused, Joy. Stay focused. But yo. You got to know deep down inside your heart. Y'all see this time ran out? Y'all see how quick this time ran out? That's how I am, you know? I'm quick. I'm quick with it. I'm not going to sit and play games with you. I'm not going to let you play with me, period. But yeah, you have to visualize and you got to trust. Y'all need to believe in yourself, okay? It said you got to trust here. Believe in yourself. You see this? Trust and believe in yourself, Okay. Okay, you guys are being asked to trust and believe in yourself. Okay, trust in the imp trust and believe in the impossible. Trust that your situation can turn around and you can have something that is healthy and positive in your life. Okay, without this trust, without you believing in yourself, without you believing that you can have whatever it is that you know that you deserve, then it's not going to happen. Okay, you have to do your part. You must do your part. Okay, you got to meet the universe, your spirit team, God, halfway on this okay you can't expect you know everybody to do everything while you kick your leg up and you just sit around and you sit in a mope around and you play the role of a victim and you be sad and you hope and wish for this best person is gonna act the right way you can't do that you have to know that you deserve the best and if a person is not giving you that you have to not be afraid to walk away and turn your back away from that person and move on to something that is healthy for you okay I feel that that is going to help you guys, you know, uh, move uh, into the right direction with this person is to believe in the impossible. You need to visualize, you need to do creative visualizations and see yourself in something that is healthy and you got to believe in yourself. Okay. You have to raise your self-esteem. You have to raise your, your self love. You have to raise your confidence level. You know, if you need to get a makeover, you need to spend time with yourself bigging yourself up, you know, focusing on you, that's what you need to do. And you need to allow yourself to fall in love again, but with somebody new, okay? But like I said, you know, you guys are grown, you do what you want to do in your life. But these are the messages that I have for you guys in this group. If you like it, like the like the, the reading, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you're interested in Debbie's channel, make sure that you go over to her channel and check her out as well, okay? Thank you guys so much. Ciao. Welcome to the Star of the Universe King Aloha collaboration. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this. Alrighty. We have such a curious dream here. Grounding, returning to reality, and coming home. So a lot of you guys need to ground yourselves. You have curiouser and curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. Someone's trying to figure out with nature of communication under the deck why somebody keeps treating them some type of way. And I feel like with grounding here, like a lot of a lot of you guys have to heal yourselves from the way that somebody has been speaking to you lately. Um, it could be some it could be something um, hooked onto by the past with uh, Mercury retrograde here. It could be that somebody I feel like old habits die hard. So somebody is trying to somebody's trying to basically come back together to apologize, but not because they want to be with you. They I think that's not, okay. Somebody is is waking up to the fact that they've actually been treating you harshly most of your life. Now this could be a brother, this could be a sister, this could be a cousin, this could be a best friend, it could be um for some of you guys, it could be co-workers. But somebody just realized, like, damn, I've been a bitch to this person or I've been an asshole to this person for very, very long. And I have no idea why. I feel like some kind of glamour spell may be breaking as well. Um, take it how it resonates. Some of you may be dealing with some kind of spiritual attack of some sort. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Most definitely, yes. With pure white dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Somebody knows that you were ordained. I feel like a lot of you guys could be um, into some kind of creativity that's actually light driven, light worker. 
work, <laughs> light worker work. How about that? Um, but I feel like process what you know, act with truth and honesty, and let your let your wings expand. Somebody's mad because you were always meant to to have these wings. That's what I'm I'm feeling here. A lot of you guys are earth angels. Earth angel, earth angel, would you be mine? my darling you know what this person's mad because they can't control you they cannot control you and with um kwan yin's pink dragon here brings firm love that resets resets your karmic balance you were always and i'm <laughs> i'm hearing the wrong side of heaven and the righteous side of hell i feel like this person doesn't know how to be good they don't know how to be good and you're just like you've always been this balanced person and you've always I feel like you've always been the light at the end of the tunnel for this person and I feel like you just cut off their supply with the golden solar dragon here helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom let your DNA be reprogrammed and let codes uh, reprogrammed and light codes activated become an inspired leader this person knows that you are always meant to be an inspiration to the masses and this person's jealous of you very jealous and jealousy kills in more ways than one and this person is going to learn today because i think with kwan yin here you have high vibing ancestors in your auric field high vibing ancestors just around you in general that this person doesn't realize that it's self-sabotage to really fuck with you yeah, with the crystal yellow dragon here. Yeah, I really do feel a lot of you guys are definitely into spiritual work. Opens your higher learning, opens you to a higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination and walk the higher spiritual path. I'm telling you, this person's jealous because you were you were chosen, girl. You chosen. I'm not gonna. Get, I'm not gonna sing that song. Get yeah, bad. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo. Virgo. See, oh my god, I'm so sorry. This Mercury retrograde, my words scrambled all over the place. I'm a Virgo moon, so I'm getting, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> with the uh, three of swords under the deck, I feel like this person has caused, caused you heartbreak again and again and again. In the past, in the present, like if this person could make you feel bad to make themselves feel better, they will. And they have no problem with it. With uh, you could be dealing with the Libra. But this person wants to communicate with you. This person might um uh, might just drop by, I'm hearing with the page of wands here. This person you could be dealing with the fire sign, it doesn't have to be, but this person, if they do just drop by, it's going to cause explosive communication. Like there will be a fight. Even if this person comes loving and comes in like, oh, I just want to da 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 or I just want to apologize, or oh, da 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 like, this person, I feel, is going to come like they're overwhelmed, and they just, they need to um, speak to you, it's an emergency, da 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 and uh, no, no, it's there, it's an emergency to them, but it's not a real emergency, like, in reality. Let's see. Yeah, this person is just burdened by their own anxiety and their own trauma. And they're actually getting triggered into a really, really dark night of the soul here with the Knight of Swords here. And I, the Nine of Swords. And the thing is that also it's their own fault. Yeah, we're going to go with that. They put themselves in this anxiety. They put themselves in this trauma. They made themselves susceptible to this dark night of the soul for fucking with you. You could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But the truth is coming out, and it's coming. It's coming. I'm I'm hearing hard and heavy, like because the Ace of Swords. That's 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 um, hard truths applied with force, and I feel like <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing we're all connected to the circle of life. <laughs> okay, so maybe you guys could be watching The Lion King, but I feel like you're coming back and you're reclaiming your crown. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're snatching your crown back from the devil. Look, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. But this person, like, they don't, people don't rob empty houses. So a lot of you guys are very psychically gifted. Some of you guys could be, um, could be pregnant with a baby girl. Congratulations. Um, but this person is only here simply to cause you havoc and harm. But 
honestly, with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're better off single. That's what I'm seeing here. You're better off single, and this person knows that you shine bright like a motherfucking diamond when you're single. You could be de dealing with a Pisces. Let's get a crystal message. Okay. All right. We have... Okay. You have Molly Badenet, and then you have Amethyst under the deck. I'll go ahead and I'll read both. Let's see. Okay, you have a message from the stars. That's so beautiful. I'm telling you, you guys, you guys get downloads like it's nobody's business group too. And I feel like a lot of you guys are actually starting to step up and into your, um, into your best light worker life. Like a lot of you guys are actually probably leaving old jobs. That's why you have a lot of coworkers hating on you. A lot of you guys are, are stepping up to the next level on your platform, stepping up to the next level of, of your ascension. A lot of you guys, your your um, your powers are increasing like crazy. Your psychic abilities, your creative abilities. A lot of you guys that are dealing with music industries, you guys are going to... I know this is random, but a lot of you guys that are, are, are watching this right now and you're actually waiting for some kind of recorded um, a, a recording contract, you're going to get that. You're going to get that. That's just a, a message from the stars. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Your life is always held in perfect equilibrium by the divine. Natural. Oh, by the divine natural order that exists within all creation. Believing that you somehow failed or made the wrong decision or choice is simply an illusion. There is nothing you need to change or fix in your life. Apart from your sometimes unbalanced perceptions, mainly your self-criticism, know that you are always worthy of love and you are internally blessed. Start to accept all of who you are as you are and you will see the life magically transform, magically and lovingly transform. All is in perfect and divine order. From a spiritual perspective, there are no mistakes in life. Every experience is a life lesson of love and wisdom. That's so beautiful. All right. Amethyst. Spirituality, positive transformation, and meditation. A lot of you guys are going through, uh, I'm telling you, with your, your ascension comes this transformation. And I feel like a lot of you guys have already cut ties with this person. This is kind of like your final test. Um, this person trying to come around you with this... Um, with this, I'm hearing crying wolf energy for you to completely cut them out for the for the rest of your life and many lifetimes before after because I don't think that they're going to see you after this. Your, uh, spirituality, positive transformation, and meditation. You're being urged to embrace your shadow side. Take an inventory of all the aspects of yourself that you are afraid to show the world because you perceive them as bad as or inadequate. If you take whatever it is that this person has been using against you to make you feel less than and project it in a in a more positive transmute it to to your best interest to your best light it's actually gonna um you're gonna find yourself in a way better position and it'll be a lot easier not right now i can't no um Because you perceive them to be bad or inadequate, meditate on these um, qualities, acknowledge them, see how they serve both you and others, then love them and bring them into your heart. When you realize that every aspect of you serves a purpose, there will be no need to deny half of who you are. Just be yourself and understand that there is nothing in life to fix. There are simply aspects of yourself yearning to be embraced and loved. This is a time of profound change, a time of positive transformation, which will have lasting impact on every area of your life and to some degree on those around you. You're going to force this person into, into, a deeper, in a, into a deeper dark night of the soul and maybe, just maybe, they might learn their lesson. But the thing is that... In order to learn their lesson, they have to lose you this lifetime. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I hope this resonated with you. What is up, fam? This is uh, the next pile. Okay. Um, we're going to be seeing 
Um, the first thing, what energies are you moving away from? Like what took place within this connection? All right. Let's see here. You know what? Let me use my sweet love life first. I'm using Adventures in Love. And I'm using uh, my sweet love life. So I'm going to check and see what um, what energies are you moving away from within this connection? What energies is this group moving away from, please? All right, let's see what we got here for you guys. What energies are you moving away from? What? In Ooh. Nah. Okay, we're gonna go with it. You wanna go with it? Should we go with it, you guys? Should we go with it? Cause I, if, if it's more than three, I usually put them back. But I'm, mean, I'm hearing y'all saying yes, so I'm gonna go with it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go with it this time. Just this one time, okay? Just this one time. Oh, okay, so let's see. Oh, damn! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna put this over here. I knew it. This may be a full-on uh, divorce that you, you've dealt with or uh, the ending of a long-term uh, connection for some of you guys, okay? Or just a separation um, if you guys were in a short-term uh, connection. Either way, it was a separation between you guys. Uh, family breaking up even for some of y'all or just a whole bond breaking up, okay? One of you guys may have felt, you might have felt like that your affections were being denied from this person. You may have felt that this person was rejecting you, Okay. They weren't really um, reciprocating. It wasn't really a two-way street with this person, okay? I feel this person also had you guys walking on eggshells. We got eggshells here, okay? They had you walking on eggshells. They were very, very defensive. You didn't know how. You didn't even know. You, you can't even be. They would not allow you to be yourself, okay? They didn't. They made you feel like. I feel this probably ate at some of you guys' uh, self-esteem as well and your confidence as well because this person... They, didn't, they made you feel like you were not enough, okay? And that um, you couldn't really be yourself because you're yourself, your true self, how you acted, um, what you, you know, how you normally regularly are wasn't good enough, that you had to be somebody else, you know? And that some of you guys may have had to watch what you say around this person, watch what you do around this person. You weren't really able to be yourself when this, within this connection. This person was very, very defensive for whatever. They, it's like they were trying to, like, pick a fight with you. Like, right? they were looking at for some shit to, to complain about or looking at something to be mad at you about, you know? Hmm. This person, if you guys had any issues, this person is saying that it's your fault, you know? They was blaming you for everything, okay? If you ain't put enough salt in the eggs, they blamed you for it. Like, it was, it was it's the end of the world, you know? Or... If your connection is falling apart, they're blaming you for it. It's your, it's your fault. Like, forget them not, you know, reciprocating the emotions. And forget them making you feel rejected. Forget them making you feel like you can't be yourself and then being highly defensive and having you walking on eggshells. Forget all of that. Forget them doing other things that sabotage this connection. Because it shows that they were, they were, your person probably was doing other things that just was going against this connection going against you guys being together okay they were halting the progress of this connection okay they're preventing it from moving forward it could have been a reason a, a reason why they were doing that but this person i don't know what the fuck they had going on but they were they were at, they did a number on this connection in this relationship they did a number on it okay and now what's so funny is that we have that this person wants to come back. We got reconciliation. So y'all be be careful. I mean, I, I don't know what's really going on behind the scenes, but it's like I feel this person knows that you're trying to seek closure. The truth, you're trying to get closure. So they're coming back for round, whatever, number. You have reconciliation, getting back together, and then you have a chance encounter. So you might run into this person out, or this person might just contact you out of the blue, you know? Really think twice about moving back. Hell, hell, who knows? The person might have changed. You know, I'm not going to count that out of the, of the equation, you know? But at the same time, I always ask myself, like, before you go back to anything, before you go back to an old job, before you go back to an old friendship, before you go back to um, 
an old uh, relationship, a love connection or whatever. You need to think about it. Think about why this shit broke up or why it, why it fell apart in the first place, you know? Because some, some stuff is just not worth repeating. It's just not, you know? Let's see what else we got here. What other energies we got going on for this group. Let me see what we got so far. The, yeah, this person thought the grass was green on the other side. That's why they were treating you like shit. That's why they were disregarding you. That's why they were not taking you seriously. That's why they didn't. That's why they sabotaged this connection. I knew it. I knew it was somebody else or something else. Take what applies, let the rest fly, okay? This is not the time and place to also, uh, hey, just popped in my head. It's not the time and place to be living in denial when it comes to shit like this, okay? Because this is your livelihood. This is your well-being, okay? But this person thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought somebody else could give them something that you could not give them, okay? I'm feeling for some of you guys, this person may have even body shamed you too. I don't know why that's coming out. Body shame. Let me, let me see something. I'm getting body shame from this person, okay? This person tried to make, this person played mind games, okay? I'm hearing mind games, and I'm hearing that they tried to tear down your self-esteem so that they will make you feel like they were better than you because your person has a complex we got done daughter here. Yep. This person has a whole complex that conceited as fuck, conceited as hell, you know? They think that they're the empress or the emperor over you, and you're like the peasant, and that you should always do what they want you to do, you know? That they all, they, that, damn, I can, I can even talk. That they know right. They know what's best, you know? And I, that's what I feel like this person was like, oh, well, I can get somebody better than you. I can, you know, I am... Whoever I am, you know, fucking, I don't know. Let me stop. I don't know. I had to pull out the nothing but the T on this and see what the fuck we got going on here. It says pregnancy with another. For some of y'all, y'all person got somebody else pregnant. And that could be a reason why they sabotage this connection so they can go over there and be with this other person. Okay. Build a, a connection in the life for this other person. Some of y'all, it is what it is, y'all. Some of y'all, they, they, they may have felt like, you know, you weren't kinky enough in the bedroom for them, you know? Or they, they, they didn't feel comfortable going to you for that, you know? They may have felt like they needed somebody who was a little, you know, more freer in the bedroom, more willing to experiment and try different things. This person was, person would ignore your calls and ignore your text messages as well, you know? Flat out, just ignore you, just... Like, they didn't really care about it, right? They didn't really care about it. And I feel like their actions were being put on, put on, put on. Uh, you might have called them out on their shit, you know? You might have called them out and let them know, like, well, you know, what are you, why are you ignoring my calls? Like, why, what's up? What's going on, you know? And then this person, you might have even found out about, some of you guys may, may have even found out about this pregnancy or them dealing with somebody else. And then them turning around, turning around and blaming you for it. You know, blaming, well, you don't give me what I want in bed. You know, you ain't freaky enough for me, da da da, da whatever, you know? And then turn around and blaming you for it. But now it says this person is having constant thoughts about you. So that's what that's what we have this um this uh reconciliation uh energy here too. Because this person, they know that the grass must not have been greener, you know. I'm just pull two more I ain't about to make it too spicy, too caliente over here. But yeah, this, now this person has their eyes on you. Now they, they, they're thinking about you again, you know? They may have had some little drama that might have played out on social media. Okay. This person might have gotten with somebody who wants to, them to come up with the coins, you know? Who, who saw them, if this is going to focus, who saw them as a paymaster, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who they can get some coins from, you know? Somebody, hey, give, give up the coins and the cash, you know? You gotta, you gotta have a job if you want to be with me. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. And I thought that you guys are over it. You over this connection. You want to move on from it. You want to move past it. Okay, that's the vibes that I'm getting for you guys. Now let me see 
what advice we what other advice we got going on for you guys over here all right we have break the chains okay that's the first advice we got for you guys in this in this group break the chains okay it says break free from what's holding you captive don't stay connected to things that no longer work you might need to do some core cutting rituals uh do some prayers whatever it is you believe in whatever it is you resonate with you need to do whatever you got to do to break yourself away from this person if you do not want to be connected with them because i'm feeling that you know but with this message too, I'm getting the whole vibe that you guys still have, uh, that if they record is still the task, you guys strong and proud. That's why this person feels that, you know, that it is okay for them to come back to you. You feel me? They feel like the way, the path towards you is still open. Okay. It says the affirmation on this one says, I break away from anything that no longer works for me. Yeah. If this is not working for you, break away from that shit and move forward. You got to move forward. Okay. It says passion. Listen to your heart's call. What is your heart telling you to do? with this person in this, this situation. Your best bet is for you to focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what makes you feel fulfilled, you know? And I'm talking about outside of another person. This is like, do you have a talent that you need to um, work on or that, that you can monetize or that you can focus your time and energy on that's gonna benefit or pay off for you in the long run and, and cause you some, give you a little good therapy, give, give you a little good vibes those of positive energy in, in your life okay i'm hearing focus on your heart what y'all what is your heart telling you to do you know not what you're doing not what you do out of familiarity not what you do out of you know routine what is your heart telling you to do in this situation what does your heart want to experience and especially what is what does your heart want to experience within a love connection and is is this person somebody that could, could provide you with that you know Based on this person's record, this track record, based on their previous actions, can they give you what you want, what your heart wants and what your heart needs? You need to think about that. You need to take some time to yourself and think about it. Get you some, get you uh, some coffee or tea or something like that, some juice, I don't know, and think about it. Morality is telling you to do the right thing, okay? Some of you guys may be, you may be, one of uh, this decision that may be coming up for you guys maybe sitting sitting around you doing what's right for you and what's best for you okay i'm hearing do the right thing for you you know do the right thing that's gonna benefit you in the long run get off the hamster wheel family matters it says heal the ties that bind you know focus on the people that really matter in your life you know who's your real family who's there for you who has your back who can you, who do you go to when you talk to whenever this person did whatever they did to you? You know what I'm saying? Who's the person that you, you had to run to for moral support when this person was never there for you? When this person ignored your phone calls? When this person ignored your text messages? When this person left you on red? When this person went out and, and left you for the, the grass on the other side? You know what I'm saying? Who was there for you? That needs to be your main focus, okay? Not this person, not somebody. And I'm not trying to tell y'all what to do. You want to go back to this person, you do it. And you and you, and you be happy doing it. You live your best life, you know, however you see fit for that. But I'm I'm telling you right now, the, the advice that I'm getting for you is to focus on who has your back, okay? That's what truly matters. Family matters. Whether it's your friends who have your back, you know, your soul family. Some of you guys maybe even be your immediate family. That that's where your support is gonna lie. That's who's gonna uplift you. That is who's gonna who's gonna protect you during this time while you heal and you move forward within your life. Okay, but it's giving me a, a clear break the chains and move the fuck on from this. But this person, like I said, is coming back. No doubt. I mean, the energy based on t as of today, when I'm doing this reading, mind you, shit could change because it's all energy, okay? Based off a little somebody's decision that they that they uh, decide to do, it could change everything. But this is saying that it's right now, as of today, right now, the energy says this person is, is coming back towards you, okay? But yeah, that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the reading. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more readings like this. If you like what's going on, over, check Debbie out as well over there and see what she got going on popping as well from uh, Star of the Universe Tarot. Show us some love if you resonate with it. And, yo, we're going to move on to the next group, okay? Ciao. Hey, guys. Back again for group three messages. Um, I don't know why group three. I feel so, like, even when I started, like, shuffling your cards and stuff, like, I feel so aloof, like, lost. Like, I keep feel I keep, um, I'm hearing I keep falling out of place. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, but I feel like somebody's trying so hard to distract you from what it is that you need to do. And I feel like a lot of you guys have like a certain project or a certain goal that you're trying to reach. And you know that, um, in some senses you're about to cross the finish line, right? And it's like somebody is trying to trip you at the end and you're like, no. No. So it's like, I also feel like this disappearing, reappearing act, Kundalini energy is on high. Um, but somebody just feels like you're, you're not going to catch me. Like, or I'm, I'm feeling like catch me if you can. Leonardo DiCaprio vibes. Yeah. <laughs> With impossible things. I'm telling you this Kundalini energy. One, 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 as I said this, like you're going to, you're going to disappear and reappear and they're not going to know where you're reappearing at. Like, a lot of you guys could be moving. A lot of you guys could be secretly moving. <laughs> I will tell. Yeah, because you're tired of falling for somebody's tricks. I feel like somebody... Either, mm, either you or somebody else, group three. I feel like somebody is tricking. And I think that's what you're actually falling away from. That's what you're running away from. Like, some of you guys could, ha could have a roommate that, that does sex work on the side. Yeah, and you, uh, it took you a minute with Curiouser and Curiouser. It took you a minute to really uh, put two and two together. And now that you have, you're like, holy shit. Like, I think I, I, think I should move out. <laughs> and with Use Your Time Well, this person, I, I feel like this person brings johns and stuff in in the middle of the night and now you're starting to notice that it's not the same person that's coming in and doing your your neighbor or whatever yeah well archangel gabriel's dragon brings purification self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy you can carry archangel's diamond yeah you know that you're a gem the thing is that you don't know like it's one thing if this person is tricking or this person is sex working and stuff out of your home, I mean, if they're doing it, that's one thing. But to do it out of your home, you do not feel safe there. And you're like, why are you tricking people in our in our in our home? Like now these people know where you live. Like I'm feeling very stalker energy here. You're afraid that somebody is going to come back and, and like break into the house so you're just like, okay, well, this person's not going to stop because obviously that's what this person does for their line of work. So you've actually took it upon yourself to just be like, this person's going to lie to me when I ask them if they're tricking, if they're hoeing or whatever. So you're just going to tell them like, oh, I've decided I'm going to up and leave. And you're not going to say why. You're not going to say how or what stirred you into this direction. You're just going to end up leaving. Yeah, with the dusky drama, the <laughs> dusky pink dragon from Andromeda, like you need, you see how she's holding the little cricket here. Like I'm feeling like crickets in the middle of the night, and then with the with the um, <laughs> with the music notes here, you hear your roommate. The uh uh, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really embarrassing. I feel like your person, your person, um, you know, your roommate or whatever. I feel like this person be faking the shit out of their orgasms. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I don't know if it makes her more money or whatever, but... Yeah, with Source Dragon here, you're just like, you know what? Like, I, I've... It, with the infinity symbol, it's like, it's all the time. Every day. Every day. Like, this bitch doesn't take a break. It's like, bro, when is your day off? Never, because she needs... She needs it. She's addicted to 
She's not, she don't even need the money so much as she's addicted to the sex. And that's what you're actually coming into. Look at all of these dragons have, they're holding something in their hand. Like, whether it be diamond, whether it be commu uh, this this musical. Like, the, you know what it is? I, I feel like the moment that you move out of this person's energy, you're going to be blessed three times over. Three times over. You're going to be, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be purified. You're going to be musically in tune. You might get some kind of download or some kind of musical ability because of, of moving yourself away from this person. Some kind of musical talent that could be singing, that could be songwriting, that could be producing. And you're going to get like a light worker, a light worker download as well. Like you're going to get um, either an advancement in your psychic abilities, an advancement in your intuition. Um, for whatever reasons, I, I'm hearing numbers. So some of you guys could get in a, like um, an advanced download of, of um, being able to communicate with angels through numbers. I feel like some of you guys, 555 five, five, as I was going to say this, some of you guys already have that. So it's just going to like, it's going to kick up. So you're actually going to be able to not only communicate with angels from the other side. Some of you guys might actually be able to, um, I'm hearing DNA reprogramming. So a lot of you guys might be able to um, contact um, people from the other side. Not just your ancestors, not just your own spirit guides, not just your own spirit team. But I think you're going to unlock a um a power to be able to to tap into other people's akashic records for purification purpose purification and healing purposes i feel like a lot of you guys too are gonna get are gonna get um a gift of of um i'm hearing the gift of song i feel like a lot of you guys have really healing voices i think if you grew up in the choir or something like that or you grew up and you never got the chance to sing you're going to get an oppor a, a random opportunity to, to collaborate with somebody who's going to allow you to actually activate this singing in your, in your life or this uh, dealing with, with musical notes. Some of you guys may, may play the guitar. I'm hearing the ukulele. Um, some of you guys can play the drums. That's another one that I'm hearing heavily. I'm hearing some of you guys play the flute. That's that's awesome. I feel like a lot of you guys that play the flute too, you guys learned how to how to um how to contact spirits from the other side using your 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 I'm hearing your windpipe. That's so cool. Like your indigenous ancestors are very proud of you. They like it. They like it. Muy bueno. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, and then with the Emperor card here, like, that wanted to come out, like, it wanted to come out in the upside down for me, like, when I picked it up. You know that there's somebody that's watching you. It could be possible that you've actually had a gut feeling that your friend is under investigation for this solicitation. Oh, solicitation. I don't think for solicitation. I think for for these Johns. I Oh... Yeah, will a fortune moment under the deck? You could be dealing with the Leo, but I feel like somebody picked up a John that's a that's a police officer. Uh huh. Somebody fucked an undercover, and that's how they ended up uh, um, being under investigation. This is really different. This is really different. Group three. This is different from any of the uh, of the readings. Yeah, but you need to block this person once again. You could be dealing with the Leo. Yeah, because you, yeah, I'm telling you, with the Hermit card, they're definitely under investigation. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Virgos are actually low vibrational energy are known for sex work, just saying. Nothing, no, no, um, how do you call it? No hits at Virgos or nothing like that, because I'm a Virgo moon, and some of my best friends are Virgos. So, Virgo moon and Virgo suns. But they, die. the truth is, a lot of them are known for that, especially if you have Virgo in your Venus, Virgo, um, um yeah just in general anyways step out of that <laughs> because i'm not like i said it's not a hit to virgos it's just like you could be dealing with one but this person with the temperance card like it, it it's only a matter of time and you don't want to be associated now that you know that now that you have now that it's confirmed that your gut feeling that about this person being watched and whatnot 
you know that the only way for you to heal from this situation is to move away. Move away and move out. Move out and move away and put a, put a death to the situation. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. By the way, you got three major arcanas. You got the Death card, the Temperance, and, and the Hermit. This is really, really... Um, and then we had the Will of Fortune that peaked out as well. So... You, you know that you're going through a significant life change right now. And in order to keep yourself going um, and ending this cycle completely, um, you're going to have to block this person. Because I feel like this person, the moment that they get caught up, they're going to start calling you, telling, the, telling you to put money in their books and whatnot. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because if you do, if, if you engage in that, you're actually going to end up um, owing karma. So that's why you're being told right now to just let it go. All right. We have Burrell. All right. We have resolution, stress reduction, protection, and new, oh, potential new possibilities. An ongoing problem or dilemma will soon be resolved in an unexpected way. As a consequence, your stress levels and anxieties will decrease. Though this exciting new pathway is open for you and you discover new possibilities for your life, at this current situation, as this current situation is resolved, you will simultaneously and subconsciously let go of a past regret or guilt that has only served to sabotage the creative possibilities that have been available for you for quite some time. It is time for you to shine. Open your heart and you'll see the unlimited potential that resides within you. Being associated with this person has been blocking your creativity for a very, very long time. And it's actually been blocking your blessings from coming through. So I, I get that a lot of you guys are concerned for your, for your roommate's safety and everything. But this person did put themselves in that position. And now that you know that there's an investigation that's open and they're dealing with the law, I feel... This is the best time for you to move forward. You have unconditional love, peace, joy, and loving thoughts. Blessings. You're being bathed in love, light, and healing. I'm telling you, the universe is just going to bestow these gifts on you. In love, light, and healing energy by the universe. And those who dearly love and treasure you. This is a time of peace and joy. A time to reflect on all that you are grateful for. Share your love and blessings with your friends and loved ones. Remember the more you love, the more love you give. The more love you give, the more love you automatically receive in return. <laughs> My son has impeccable timing. Um... Know that you truly deserve all the blessings coming your way. The following... Oh. Right now, yeah. The following is a short prayer you may wish to recite so that others may also open their hearts to, heal, to the healing power of love. Sorry. We pray for love to heal and guide us to illuminate our hearts and minds so that we may all come to see and feel the sacred flame of light we each hold within for then we shall truly know beyond all doubt that the only that only love is real and only love is eternal all right you guys that's what i have for you and i hope you guys enjoyed our collaboration thank you again to joey from king aloha tarot for this opportunity and love you guys bye all right, you guys, let's see what we got going on here for you guys. Let's first and foremost know that this is a general reading. If you do like what's going on with Debbie, make sure you check her channel out too. Uh, Star of the Universe Tarot. We're going to be checking see what the energies that you're moving away from within this connection with this person. What are the energies this group is moving away from, please? What are the energies this group is moving away from? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Hell no. Uh, I'm hearing the shit hit the fan within this connection for some of you guys. The shit hit the fan. I don't know what that means. But I know what it means, but I don't know what it means for you. Oh, okay. All right. I see some of you guys are waiting on this person. Some of you guys are some of you guys had high hopes for this connection. You know? You you saw this person as a dream come true. Yeah, yeah, y'all may y'all may have seen this person as a dream come true, okay? With this success here. Y'all saw them y'all saw them as potentially being the end all be all or like damn, you know, I finally met somebody who I could connect with on that level. You know, but I feel like this person just completely fucked that whole dream up that you have had for them, you know. So I see that we got unrequited love. This was a one-sided affection, you know. You may have felt a certain way that was different from the way that this person felt, you know. You found out, you know, that they didn't feel for you like you felt for them, or they didn't they didn't view this connection uh in the same way that you viewed it, you know, because we have rejection here and affection is denied, you know. The person may have led you on and may have made you think that something was going on, but there may have been some outside interference from uh, outside inf influences who were influencing this person to go in a different direction, okay, and to reject you and this connection and whatever you guys had going on, okay? It left you would not trust. You don't trust this person at all, okay? The way that they treated you or whatever they did, it left you with a lot of distrust for them. You don't you do not trust this person and you don't trust this this connection. And I feel a lot of you guys in here, you definitely um whatever something may have taken place that actually gave you the closure that you need. There might be a little bit something for some of you guys, you already got the closure that you need, okay? Now for some of you guys, that you strongly want to close this cycle out, okay? Depending on what time what timeline you're on in your situation and what applies to you, okay? I feel that your person right now unfortunately is getting karma okay because we got the just desserts cards right here this person is getting what they deserve out of what they did to you okay because i feel like for some of you guys this person played you dirty they played with your heart your emotions they made you feel that things were going a certain way but they weren't going that way you know they made you think that they were going to be the one that was going to make your dreams come true in some area, you know, that you were that person. But then turn around and they rejected you and just flipped the script on it. Let's check some other energy here, too. I feel that you guys felt that at one point you felt that you made a, a, a big mistake by even giving this person a chance or even uh, entertaining this or connecting with this person. OK, and I felt like once you figure something out between you and this person that they didn't feel like how you felt based off of their actions or whatnot, I feel that you guys started taking the actions that you needed to take to correct mistakes in your, and, and within this connection. You wanted to pull your, you know, pull your energy back, you know? You wanted to actually put it in the right place, like saying, okay, I'm not gonna, I am not gonna, you might be in that place right now, you know? To where you're saying, I'm not gonna give my energy further and my attention and my affections and my heart to this person when they don't, they don't want me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hate to say it like that, or when they don't, they don't respect me, or they don't see the same thing that I see for them, you know? Red flags. Some of you guys might have been ignoring the red flags within this connection. Maybe this person showed you signs of them not really being in this connection uh, the same way that you have. Some people might have been played. Like I said, play. I'm, I'm hearing somebody got played. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, this person played with your heart to get what they want. And then they, and then they, you know, bounced or they hung around or they entertained other people or other things or let other people, uh, persuade them like a whole peer pressure thing, you know, and persuade them to do other things, you know, or to 
to not really give you what you wanted in this connection, okay? But I feel, I, I'm hearing that there was a lot of, this connection had a lot of red flags in it, okay? It was just a amount of time of you stepping back and you actually seeing things for what it was, you know? Yeah, this person is highly conceited. We got this, all three of my groups, I got this Don Dada car came out. So a lot of y'all dealing with people who are conceited as hell. They're conceited. They're, they're, they're focused on themselves. It's all about them. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what they focus on. It, it, your feelings does not matter. I'm hearing the whole fuck your feelings kind of whole vibe from this person. They do not care. This person does not have the capacity to give a fuck about you. And I hate to say it like that, but that's the true vibes and feelings that I get from this, this uh, person here. For whoever this is for, they don't care. You can't expect somebody to have emotions when there are none, you know? That's why you got unrequited love, you know? Because you may have been an emotionally um, multi-dimensional person, but this person is not. They're focused on the material. They're focused on what they can get. They're focused on themselves and nobody else, okay? We can't expect people like that to actually care. Where it's going, where the, where the feelings going to come from, where the emotions going to come from, you know, where they going to come from, nowhere. Cause this person, people like this are empty vessels, you know, they're powered by the dark side. And I hate to say it like that, but they, they focus, they're a lower level vibing, you know, when you focus on yourself, like you think you all of that and you just focus on the material, da, 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 you are not high vibing at all. You scrubbing the ground with the rest of the snakes. Lost in the sauce, confusion. This person left your ass confused. I'm hearing a complete mindfuck. This is making my head hurt right now. So, you guys, this person may have left y'all, may have gave y'all headaches. I'm getting the whole Harry Potter and the Voldemort kind of vibe here. When Voldemort came around, Harry Potter's scar on his forehead started hurting. And that's what I'm getting right now with this person. This person's giving me Voldemort vibes right now. If y'all know about Harry Potter, Voldemort vibes and coming around and they leaving you lost in the sauce and confused, giving me a whole headache. OK. A chaser. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One of y'all might have been the chaser within this connection. One of y'all might have been chasing this person or trying to get them to see you or see your worth, see your value. No, we never want to chase anybody. We never want to do that, especially this, this, especially a asshole like this. No, this motherfucker got a fuchsia suit on. No, you don't want to do that ever. Oh, no, these people right here, they think they, they want people to worship them. They want people to chase them. They want people to, to, you know, to, to, to fall out at their feet, you know, and worship them like there's some kind of deity or there's some kind of royalty or something. No, 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 no. Let's get some advice here. You know what? Let me see what else was. Let me get the nothing but the tea for you guys. I did it for the second, my other group too. I'm going to do it for you guys too. You're welcome. I'm just playing. <laughs> Let me do it for you. Let me see what else was going on in this connection, please. Give me a couple. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get too deep. I'm not gonna get too deep. But let me get a couple of. Uh, see what was going on here. Yeah, y'all knew the way this person acted, right? Because you got looking out for me. The way that this person acted, y'all knew that you had to look out for yourself because your person was looking out for themselves only. They only cared about themselves. They didn't care about you and your feelings and your emotions. This connection had to end. This person had their walls up. They weren't trying to give you nothing. Nothing. They were blocking you out because they didn't take you serious like that. I hate to say that, but it is what it is. Keeping secrets. This person did their own thing. They didn't let you into their life. This person had their own life going on. And they didn't want you to be a part of their world because they felt like they you you weren't worthy enough to be a part of their world. Blaming it on the alcohol. Maybe this person is somebody who drinks. And they want to blame their actions on the alcohol. Maybe they turn into a whole completely different person when they're drunk. Right? This person didn't give you the reciprocated feeling. You wanted that from them, but they didn't give that to you. Okay? Maybe this person only gave you reciprocated feelings when they were drunk. Or when they were high. 
And now they want to give you some attention. Now they want to give you some affection. Now they want to give you some love. But when they're sober, it's like, hell no, I don't know you like that. Who are you? You know, this person had prior obligations. That's why they could not commit to you. Okay. For some of you guys could be for all of y'all could be for a lot of y'all. I don't know. You know, depending on your situation, this person had prior obligations. The hands were already tied. They already had stuff going on, and that was a secret that they were keeping, and that's why they kept their walls up. That's why they did not let you in their world, okay? Because that was the outside influence. They had something else completely different going on. Let me get two more. Then I'm going to get y'all advice right here. Oh, damn, three more. Hi. Um... Hiding behind a mask. This person was fake as fuck. They were hiding behind a mask. They were not telling. They were keeping secrets, like we said. Keeping a lot of secrets from you. This person did not care about your feelings, like I said. Didn't I tell y'all before? I said, fuck your feelings. Here we go right here. This is a confirmation. Right here. Y'all see that? If it's zooming in. Yeah, y'all see that? Fuck your feelings. Period. A love confession, I love you. One of y'all made made this love confession. I don't know which one of y'all did. But like I said, I kind of feel like your person may have said that they loved you when you guys were having sex. They may have said that they loved you when they were drunk or high. Okay? This person led you on and make you think that they were. you guys were in this together. Let's check the advice that we got going on for you guys. Let's see what we got here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Wara, wara. Let's see. Honor ancestry. It says honor your ancestors and ancestry. What the fuck they gotta do with this right now? Anyways, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Honor your ancestry. <laughs> honor your ancestors and ancestry. There is much more to learn and be proud of from those who've come before you. I'm hearing you guys have come from a long hell. You might be like me. You might have come from a long line of warriors or strong people. You're being advised to dig deep down into your DNA, you know, and embody some of those same characteristics as your ancestors, okay? Your ancestors were strong people. They were very resilient, you know? You're being advised to take on those same traits as well, you know? You're better than this, you know? And you're better than somebody looking down on you. Some of you guys come from royalty as well, you know? You're not some peasant that somebody could look down on and treat any kind of way. You're not. So you guys need to, a lot of you guys need to research and see where where's your ancestry come from, you know? I know for some people it's kind of hard, you know, to do that. But let me tell y'all something when it comes to ancestry. When you know where you come from, it's a game changer. Trust and believe that, okay? It might make you a little confused like me because shit, I found out <laughs> my ancestors from a lot of different places. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different places. But this just makes you a mixed plate like me. But they're from a lot of different places. But at the same time, it's a game changer when you know where the fuck you come from. And nobody can't call you nothing because you know who you are and you know who your people are and you know who your ancestors are. This is also spiritual ancestry as well. Cosmic ancestry as well. When you know where the fuck you come from, nobody can take nothing from you. You feel me? It, that that gives you power. So if somebody call me something, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. You need to get it right. Get it right. I know where the fuck I come from. I know who my ancestors are. I know exactly where they come from, you know? Try that shit on somebody else who don't know where they come from. It gives you power. So I'm hearing that you guys need to, uh, there's power in that for you as well, okay? Connectivity. Look what I just said. I said cosmic ancestry too. It says embrace your cosmic connections. You guys may be my star seeds over here. You may be the light workers. You may be of the light. I don't know. You guys need to embrace your cosmic connections. You're bigger than this shit right here. This card is telling telling this card is saying that you're bigger than all this little stuff that you're going through. You're bigger than these people right here who wear fuchsia fucking suits. You're bigger than these people. You're bigger than this. You're destined for, you need to, you need to, I feel like you guys don't realize your true potential. You don't realize that you're, that all the great things that you can accomplish in life. 
because of the little minor things that are going on around you. I know you might they might not be minor to you because it was your heart. Yeah, I understand that. But you if you if you can take your heart and your feelings out of the equation, you will know that you there's so much more that you are, are were brought here to do. Not chase after nobody who don't want you. You feel me? Oversight, see? Get a different perspective. Y'all need to pull your emotions out of this and see that you are bigger and better than this. You can achieve bigger and better than this. You can experience bigger and better than this. You need to aim high, aim higher than this person. You just you just missed the mark this time. It was a mistake. But we did get there. We did get, did get, get um, ooh. Oh, I just butchered that. We did get uh taking action to correct mistakes. Yeah, we got that. Taking action to correct mistakes. It was just an oversight, you know what I'm saying? Now you're correcting the mistakes. You could do that and then you'll move forward. You need to pull your emotions out of it and so you can see the clear picture. See who the fuck you are. Y'all not giving yourself enough credit here. You guys, this people sometimes. The opposition is going to send you people into your life to make you think that you're something that you're not, to make you think that you're not good enough, or to make to, 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 to trick you. And for a lot of us, it works until we find out our true power, our true strength. And we're like, wait the fuck, wait a minute, where is my crown? That's what that was sitting over there in the corner collecting dust. Let me pick that bitch back up and dust it off and put it back on my head. And sit on my throne. This person tried to trick me because I forgot who I was. But now I remember who I am, you know? We got faith. Don't stop believing. You're being advised to don't stop believing that your dreams could come true. Or that you can achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. You feel me? Don't stop believing. I'm here. Don't stop believing. Where it goes, hold on to that feeling. Oh, oh. y'all know that song on um, that old 80 song who sings that who sings that song is it journey don't stop believing i don't know y'all comment in the comment section let me know who sings that song don't stop believing but yo listen to that song too it's gonna give you motivation as well i know some of y'all be like i don't want to listen to no 80 song but yo listen to it for the lyrics listen to it for the lyrics the lyrics might have something in there for you as well but yeah, that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the reading. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be part of the family. <laughs> and yo, if you vibing with Debbie, go and check her channel out too. Star of Universe Tarot. Thank you guys so much for being here. Much love and light. Take care. Ciao.